black holes, mysterious cosmic objects with hundreds of millions of times the mass of the Sun, are surprisingly small for such immense mass. Our own Milky Way galaxy revolves around a black hole in the constellation Sagittarius. Recently, scientists made a jaw-dropping discovery right at the heart of these enigmatic cosmic beasts, unveiling something mind-blowing and terrifying. Inside a black hole, this challenges everything we thought we knew about these cosmic wonders. According to Albert Einstein's theory of general relativity, black holes have such high surface gravity that even light cannot escape them. Gravity, as Einstein described, is not a force like magnetism. It's the result of how space and time are curved or bent by objects with mass and energy. Imagine a massive object like a star. It has enormous mass and energy, causing a deep dent or curvature in the fabric of space and time around it. This curved space and time create a gravitational field, and the more massive the object, the stronger its gravitational field and the deeper the dent it creates. Black holes are some of the most extreme objects in the universe, with unimaginable amounts of mass and energy packed into a tiny space. This intense gravity creates a super deep and very strong dent in the fabric of space and time near a black hole. The gravitational pull is so incredibly strong that it forms what we call an event horizon. The event horizon is not a physical wall. Space moves smoothly through and across it. This invisible boundary is a point of no return. Once something crosses this boundary, like an unlucky spaceship or even light, it can never escape the black hole's grasp. It's as if the black hole has an invisible force field that holds everything inside, including light. To emphasize how extraordinary this is, imagine shining a flashlight. Light beams travel incredibly fast, about 300,000 kilometers per second. But if you were inside a black hole, the speed needed to escape would be faster than light, which is impossible according to our current understanding of physics. Any light that enters a black hole becomes trapped forever, unable to break free. Light coming from farther away gets bent around it, creating the mysterious boundary called the event horizon. This boundary is not something you can physically touch or see. It's a mathematical concept indicating where we can no longer observe what's happening. The size of the event horizon depends on the Schwarzschild radius, which is determined by the mass of the black hole. The more mass a black hole has, the larger its event horizon will be. Scientists use a formula to calculate the radius of the event horizon, named after astronomer Carl Schwarzschild, who figured it out in 1916. For example, a black hole with a mass 10 times greater than that of our sun would have an event horizon radius of about 30 kilometers. At the heart of a black hole is what is known as the singularity. All the mass and energy of the black hole, no matter how immense, are squished into an infinitely tiny and dense point at the center called the singularity. The singularity has infinite curvature and infinite gravity, which is fascinating but also challenging because our understanding of physics starts to crumble when we try to make sense of what happens there. Scientists are still exploring this enigmatic territory, hoping to uncover the secrets hidden within the heart of black holes. Black holes form from the life cycle of massive stars. These stars are cosmic powerhouses fueled by nuclear fusion reactions in their cores, where hydrogen atoms combine to form helium, releasing an enormous amount of energy. As long as the star has enough hydrogen fuel to keep the fusion going, it remains stable. However, when they run out of hydrogen, they start fusing heavier elements like helium, carbon, and oxygen. Each fusion reaction with heavier elements produces less energy, so the star burns faster to maintain its balance. Eventually, the star reaches a critical point where it can no longer fuse elements and its core collapses under its own tremendous weight, forming a black hole. Stars with masses smaller than about three times the mass of our sun become white dwarfs instead of forming black holes. These dense balls of carbon and oxygen continue to emit light as residual heat. Stars weighing between about three and 20 times the mass of the sun explode in a supernova, leaving behind a superdense ball known as a neutron star. These neutron stars have masses up to twice that of the sun, but are only about 10 kilometers in radius. However, stars with more than about 20 times the mass of the sun collapse into black holes, with their cores shrinking to zero volume and infinite density. Black holes come in different types. Stellar mass black holes form from massive stars nearing the end of their journeys, 
typically with masses ranging from a few to several tens of times that of the Sun. They are quite common in our galaxy and others. Supermassive black holes, on the other hand, are cosmic behemoths with masses millions or even billions of times greater than the Sun. These giants are found at the centers of most large galaxies, including the Milky Way. They likely formed during the early universe from massive clouds of gas and dust or from mergers of smaller black holes. Intermediate mass black holes, sitting between stellar mass and supermassive black holes, are somewhat mysterious and not commonly spotted. Scientists speculate they may have formed from the collapse of incredibly massive stars during early cosmic eras or from the union of stellar mass black holes in dense star clusters. Primordial black holes, potential relics from the beginnings of our universe, might have emerged from fluctuations in the density of matter and energy shortly after the Big Bang. They come in various sizes, from minuscule to massive, but remain hypothetical and have yet to be directly observed. Black holes can also rotate. Non-rotating black holes are described by the Schwarzschild solution in Einstein's theory of general relativity. These black holes have a spherical event horizon and a singularity at the center. Rotating black holes, described by the Kerr solution, have an oblate event horizon and a ring-like singularity. Their rotation creates an ergosphere, a region where space and time are dragged along by the spinning black hole. Kernuman black holes, which both spin and carry an electric charge, are described by the Kernuman solution. The electric charge distorts their event horizon and singularity. Scientists have discovered ultramassive black holes, true cosmic heavyweights with masses exceeding 10 billion times that of the Sun, using gravitational lensing. Astronomers detected these giants using the technique based on Einstein's theory of general relativity, which involves massive objects bending and distorting the path of light. The Hubble Space Telescope observed an ultramassive black hole in the galaxy cluster Abel 121, located 2.7 billion light years away. This black hole weighs about 30 billion times the mass of the Sun, one of the largest ever observed. Gravitational lensing allows us to observe and study objects otherwise too faint or hidden. By measuring the bending and magnification of light caused by massive objects, scientists can estimate their mass and location. This method was used to uncover the ultramassive black hole in Abel 121. The discovery challenges our understanding of black hole formation and growth, suggesting they could form through rapid accretion of matter or dramatic mergers with other black holes. This discovery also provides an opportunity to test Einstein's theory of relativity under extreme conditions and explore the nature and properties of dark matter. Dark matter makes up most of the mass in the universe, and studying ultramassive black holes can shed light on its elusive nature. Gravitational lensing creates optical illusions when massive objects bend light, allowing us to study cosmic phenomena like black holes. Gravitational lensing occurs in different forms. Weak lensing causes subtle changes in the shapes and positions of distant galaxies, providing insights into the distribution of dark matter. Strong lensing produces dramatic effects like multiple images or arcs of light around the lensing object, helping scientists measure its mass and shape. Microlensing, involving smaller objects like stars or planets, magnifies background stars temporarily, aiding in the discovery of exoplanets and exotic cosmic objects. For the first time, scientists observed light coming from behind a black hole using telescopes like the European Space Agency's XMM-Newton and NASA's New Star. They detected X-ray flares from a supermassive black hole 800 million light years away. As gas fell into the black hole, it heated to extreme temperatures, forming a glowing corona. Some X-ray flares were reflected by gas behind the black hole and bent by its immense gravity and magnetic fields making them visible to us. This observation confirms Einstein's prediction that light could be bent by gravity. The discovery involved several days of observations in 2018, revealing X-ray flares with distinct colors and delayed arrivals. These flares were light echoes from behind the black hole. Einstein's theory of general relativity explains that gravity warps space and time, allowing light to bend around massive objects. This phenomenon, known as gravitational lensing, along with magnetic fields, makes the flares visible from certain angles. This discovery confirms a key prediction of Einstein's theory and deepens our understanding of black holes, their coronas, magnetic fields, and accretion disks. 
multi-wavelength astronomy using different types of radiation played a crucial role in this discovery. It opens new possibilities for studying black holes and other cosmic phenomena. In another exciting development, astronomers discovered a wandering black hole using the Hubble Space Telescope and gravitational microlensing. This black hole, located about 5,000 light years away, has a mass seven times that of the sun and moves at 45 kilometers per second. It likely formed from a massive star that underwent a dramatic collapse and was propelled into the Milky Way by a supernova explosion. The black hole's discovery sheds light on the cosmic journeys of such objects and their interactions with their surroundings. The black hole's strong gravity bent the light of a background star, revealing its presence. The discovery highlights the importance of gravitational microlensing in studying isolated black holes and other exotic objects in the universe. Wandering black holes, born from stellar deaths, roam through the galaxy. There may be millions of these rogue black holes in our galaxy alone. Their discovery challenges our understanding of their formation and behavior and provides insights into the end stages of massive stars. In November 2022, Astronomers discovered the closest black hole to Earth, GBH1, located about 1,566 light years away in the constellation Nucleus. This black hole, 10 times the mass of the Sun, is part of a binary system with a Sun like star. It was detected by observing the star's wobble caused by the black hole's gravitational pull. This discovery challenges our understanding of black hole formation and binary systems. GBH1's proximity offers a unique opportunity to study the effects of a black hole on its stellar companion. Observations revealed the black hole's influence on the star's orbit and light, providing new insights into their interactions. This discovery opens new avenues for understanding black hole formation and evolution. Black holes remain some of the most enigmatic and fascinating objects in the universe. Their intense gravitational fields, event horizons, and singularities challenge our understanding of physics. Recent discoveries of ultramassive black holes, light bending around black holes, and wandering black holes highlight the ongoing quest to unravel their mysteries. By studying these cosmic wonders, scientists continue to push the boundaries of our knowledge, revealing the hidden secrets of the universe. Black holes, often regarded as the most enigmatic and awe-inspiring objects in the universe, continue to fascinate and challenge our understanding of fundamental physics and cosmology. These cosmic anomalies, where gravity is so intense that even light cannot escape, represent the extreme limits of our current scientific knowledge. One of the most intriguing aspects of black holes is their formation. While we understand that stellar mass black holes are born from the collapse of massive stars, the exact mechanisms and conditions that lead to their creation are still under intense study. When a massive star exhausts its nuclear fuel, it can no longer sustain its outward radiation pressure against gravitational collapse. The star's core collapses inward, forming a singularity, a point of infinite density and gravity surrounded by the event horizon. Supermassive black holes, found at the centers of most galaxies including our Milky Way, present an even greater mystery. These giants can have masses ranging from millions to billions of times that of our sun current theories suggest they may have formed through the gradual accretion of gas and stars over cosmic time, or through the mergers of smaller black holes in dense galactic cores. Intermediate mass black holes, which bridge the gap between stellar mass and supermassive black holes, are particularly elusive. While there is evidence suggesting their existence, their formation mechanisms remain speculative. They might have formed from the direct collapse of massive stars or through the merger of smaller black holes in densely populated star clusters. Primordial black holes, proposed relics from the early universe, offer another intriguing possibility. These theoretical objects could have formed immediately after the Big Bang from regions of extremely high density. If they exist, primordial black holes could vary widely in mass, from microscopic to supermassive, and might even contribute to the mysterious dark matter that makes up a significant portion of the universe's mass. The study of black holes extends beyond their formation to their role in shaping galaxies and the cosmos at large. Supermassive black holes, for example, are believed to play a crucial role in galaxy evolution. Their gravitational influence can regulate star formation rates and shape the distribution of stars and gas within their host galaxies. 
Understanding how black holes grow and interact with their surroundings is essential for deciphering the complex processes that drive cosmic evolution. One of the most profound aspects of black holes is their influence on space-time itself. According to Einstein's general theory of relativity, the presence of mass and energy curves the fabric of space-time, creating what we perceive as gravity. Near a black hole, this curvature becomes so extreme that it warps space and time to an unprecedented degree. This phenomenon not only affects the motion of objects and light, but also challenges our notions of how the universe behaves on the smallest and largest scales. The study of black holes has also opened up new avenues for testing the fundamental laws of physics. Black holes represent environments of extreme gravity, where the effects of quantum mechanics and general relativity converge. Understanding the behavior of matter and energy under these conditions could provide insights into a unified theory of physics, one that reconciles the seemingly incompatible frameworks of quantum mechanics and gravity. Technological advancements in observational astronomy have revolutionized our ability to study black holes across the electromagnetic spectrum. Instruments like the Event Horizon Telescope, EHT, which captured the first direct image of a black hole's shadow in 2019, have provided unprecedented insights into the nature of these cosmic behemoths. By combining data from radio telescopes around the world, the EHT created an image of the supermassive black hole at the center of the galaxy M87, confirming theoretical predictions and expanding our understanding of black hole anatomy. The dynamics of matter swirling around black holes, known as accretion disks, are also areas of intense study. As material spirals into a black hole's gravitational well, it heats up and emits radiation across the electromagnetic spectrum. Observing these emissions allows scientists to probe the properties of black holes and their surrounding environments, providing clues about the nature of space-time and the physics of extreme gravity. Recent observations have also shed light on the role of magnetic fields in shaping black hole environments. Magnetic fields can influence the behavior of charged particles near black holes, shaping the structure of accretion disks and producing powerful jets of particles that extend far into intergalactic space. Understanding how these magnetic fields interact with black holes' gravitational fields is essential for comprehending the full range of their astrophysical effects. Black holes also serve as cosmic laboratories for studying the behavior of matter under extreme conditions. Matter falling into a black hole can reach velocities approaching the speed of light and temperatures exceeding millions of degrees Kelvin. By observing the X-ray and gamma-ray emissions from these hot, ionized gases, astronomers can test models of particle physics and investigate the mechanisms responsible for generating high-energy radiation in the universe. The discovery of gravitational waves by the Laser Interferometer Gravitational Wave Observatory, LIGO, and Virgo collaborations has opened yet another window into the study of black holes. These ripples in space-time, caused by the mergers of black holes millions or billions of light years away, provide direct evidence of events that were previously undetectable by traditional telescopes. Gravitational wave astronomy promises to revolutionize our understanding of black hole populations, their formation rates, and their role in shaping the evolution of galaxies over cosmic time.